Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bronnie Saves here on YouTube, Instagram, and over on TikTok. So today we're here at Lowe's because there's several items that I want to come check out that I saw that lowered in price, especially some storage totes and also some battery chargers for a good brand. I'm mainly coming for the storage totes, but I'm also doing a walkthrough of stuff that I find. And let me tell you, I did find a whole bunch of cleaning items on clearance, but I am holding off on a lot of them because they will drop lower eventually. Alrighty guys, so let's go in to see what we find. So first thing, I came for the storage totes because that was the main purpose of me even coming. So I noticed that I am looking for the totes and they have a spot and it is tagged, but they are nowhere to be found on this shelf right here. I'm going to zoom in a bit on the tag, but I'm looking for basically the black with the yellow lid. And here is the tag. They're regularly $14.48 and they're on clearance for $4.57. There's the item number $479.293. So, of course, they did say they had plenty in stock. So, let's go find them. Usually, if you saw my original video of how to look for Lowe's clearance items, um, that would explain more of where you would look for stuff at Top Stock. As you can see, this is in a random spot where it's not even close to where the original toast were at, but it is right there, 479293, and it's quantity of 55 on that palette. So I found them, but if you saw my Lowe's video at a, that previous video that I posted, you saw that one of the boxes had the item number and it was a completely different boxes. So we're bringing them down to see if they're the correct item that I'm looking for. If it was in a typo on somebody's end. So I finally found somebody to help me. So he's lowering them down. And I'm going to check for the item number in a minute to make sure they're the correct ones. Now, it seems that they're the correct ones. So I did check and I confirmed that they are. But I do want to mention something. They are smaller than what I assumed they were going to be. I knew there were 12 gallons. But I don't know. I just imagined that they were bigger. But they're they're a good, decent price. But, you know, I wanted it bigger. These Lysol are normally $4.98. And they're on clearance for $2.49. And if you saw my, one of my previous videos, y'all remember that in, that means non-stock. These are not going to be stocked again. So these will go lower. So I'm just going to hold off on those. There's plenty at this store. So, yeah. This one right here is the Mr. Clean Clean Free Freak. I'm sorry. Normally five forty eight, four seventy eight. It's not much of a difference. Um, this one right here is microband sanitizing sprays. Normally six seventy eight to five something. There are some sprays that are down to two dollars at some stores, so you might want to check those out. These right here are six ninety seven, and they're clearance for two seventy seven. It is some cleaner. This Vandal Mark remover right here. It is, I'm not sure exactly what this is for, but it's normally $10.28 and is down to $2.57. This one also is a non-stock item. There's the item number on the tag. And then I also came across these normally $15.97 to $6.37. This is a carpet and upholstery cleaner. Um, these were go lower. Actually found these lower at another store for like two dollars and something. Now when I show you this Moxie dish soap, these are normally I think $2.98. And they're on clearance at most stores for $0.98. Cents. That is a good stock up price if you need dish soap. $0.98 cents dish soap. I'll take this all day, every day. This hand soap refill. As you can see, the one next to it is $9.98. This one saying was $4.98 because that was the previous clearance price. But they're lower today for $2.97. And these actually got marked down today. So as you can see, the one next to it is $9.98. Of course, it's a different scent. But they're normally about 10 bucks for two. So that's about 75% off. Now this one, I was tempted to buy this. It's a DeWalt um, battery starter kit. It's normally 129 And it is currently on clearance for $51.57. Now this one doesn't have a non-stock. But that is a pretty low price for a battery charger. So I would definitely pick this up if I was to use it. Now I this is one of my favorite finds. And I would have picked it up if I had space for it. But I don't. This is one of them deep freezers. It's normally $9.49 and it is on clearance for $4.75. That is a good, that's a steal. And it just says basically what's wrong with it is a small dent. 
Now, I was looking all over the freezer to see if I see a small dent. I did not see anything. It looks perfect and stocked. It looked perfect. Like nothing, it don't seem like nothing was wrong with it. This item right here is a steel. And I kept looking for, to see a dent or something and I didn't find anything. So I opened it up and it is new. It, it is completely new. It is an amazing price point. It's basically about 50% off for a little small dent that I couldn't even see just by looking at it. So this one is an amazing price. Now this is only this in-store price. It wouldn't, it's not going to be at other stores. And when I closed it, that's when I saw that little dent. You see that little dent right there? That is the little dent that they're talking about. That's why it's so low. Honestly, if it works amazing, small dents to me doesn't really mean anything. But of course, any that's a perfect discount. So then I saw this gas stove and it looks also perfect. It's normally a thousand a hundred and forty nine and it's down to five seventy four. That's about fifty percent off. Now it's saying it was repaired, so I don't know what's wrong with it. So you usually risk getting these type of items. But that other one it was just small knit. So this is what I wanted to show y'all. So last video, I meant to show y'all the back aisle, what Lowe's is now doing for clearance stuff. They now have it grouped all in a section, which they call the back aisle. So in this particular store, they don't even have it in the back aisle. It's actually on the side aisle, <laughs> so I don't even know. But they have them in sections like $25 or under $25 or something like that. And then they have an under $50 one. Then they'll have a under 100 and then I'm assuming this one is a 100 over. But honestly, it's a bunch of junk. All the best clearance finds that I find at Lowe's, it would be on the shelf, unmarked, majority of the time. Um, as you can see, to me, this is just a bunch of junk. It's really not good stuff. Like, you would probably have to really dig to find this, to find good items. But honestly, these aren't really marked really low. Um... I don't know what's the whole thing about them, you know, coming up with this idea, but I prefer the whole, you know, sections throughout the store clearance rather than this whole mess going on. Tell me what are your comments, your opinion about the whole back aisle clearance thing they got going on. I've been meaning to talk about it since the last video that I posted about the lows, but I completely forgot and I knew it was in the back aisle and I was going to go back there to show y'all and discuss with y'all about it but i didn't and i'm like today is the perfect time to finally talk to y'all about this back aisle has your store already rolled out with the back aisle or on the transit of doing it or what's going on at your store with it now we're here checking out and as you can see these are retail 1448 and they're down to 457 now there's some stores that are as low as two dollars and 97 cents from what i've seen on brickseek so alrighty guys thank you for joining me today and until next time and i hope you score on these items